Good morning, students. Today we are going to take up a very important topic of economic geography, and that is industries. In today's topic of industries, we are going to deal with classification of industries and factors affecting the location of industries. So let us first understand what is an industry. An industry refers to an economic activity which is related to the production of goods. The iron and steel industry, the petroleum mining industry, the entertainment industry are some of the examples of industries. Now, why do we need to have industries? Now, it is very important to have industries in a country because that raises the income of the people. It provides employment to a large part of the population and that helps the population to have a better standard of living. It bridges the trade gap. Now, what do we understand by this term? A situation where a country buys more from other countries than it sells to other countries. Now, if we have a large number of industries, then imports will be less and exports will be higher. This is what is meant by bridging the trade gap, where a country will be able to import less and export more. And this will help in making the economy of that particular country to be strong. Industries are also needed to cater to the demand of the consumers. So consumers, that is people like us, they have a lot of demand. So all demands of goods can be fulfilled when there are enough industries in the country. Industries also help in changing the socio-economic environment of the people. Now, what does this mean? Now, the change in the socio-economic condition or environment of the people refers to both social and physical determinants. Access to employment will lead to increased demand and income and this will in turn lead to better education which will help in improving the standard of living of the people. Industries also help in providing security and self-reliance. Security means it builds the self-confidence of the people and self-reliance refers to making our own economy stronger. Industries also lead to bringing of technological progress in the country. Now let us understand how the classification of industries are done. Industries are classified on the basis of the source of raw materials used, their size, their ownership and nature of the end products. Now let us learn about some of the most important types of industries. The first in this category we have agro-based industries. Now these industries obtain their raw materials from agriculture, primarily from plants, cotton, jute, sugar and food processing industries are 
included in agro-based industries. Next in line, we have cottage industries. Now these are primarily household industries. Craftspeople along with their family members are involved in the production of the goods. This type of cottage industries include pottery making, basket making, rope making, handloom textiles and so on. They normally use locally available raw materials and very simple tools. A very small amount of capital is invested and the products are normally sold in the local market. That means people with their products do not have to travel to very far off areas. All these products are found to be sold locally and nearby areas where these cottage industries flourish. Small scale industries. Now these industries obtain raw materials from outside and sell their products to traders in local and outside markets. Power driven machines are used in these industries and employment opportunities are provided to a handful of people. Products such as ceramic products, toys, leather items, food items, utensils and furniture are manufactured in small scale industries. Large scale industries. Now these type of industries are characterized by huge capital investment, power driven machines and they employ a large number of people. Raw materials are obtained from outside sources and at times they are also being imported. Finished products are sold in distant markets and also in the local markets. Production is highly specialized in nature and there are separate departments for different operations. The iron and steel industry, automobile industry, textile mills, petrochemical plants all come under the group of large scale industries. Now let us learn about the different factors which help in influencing the location of industries. The first being availability of raw materials. Now availability of raw materials in adequate quantities nearby ensure a regular and smooth supply to an industry. Procuring raw materials at irregular intervals can interrupt the smooth running of industries. An example of sugar industry, which you can see over here, where the industry is set up among the field, that is, the industry, the sugar industry is located very close or sometimes inside the look where the sugar cane is being grown. And why it is being done? Because sugar mills tend to use the sugar cane which is cut and if the sugar cane has to be transported to very far off regions, then they tend to dry up. So the amount of sugar can become less if the sugar cane has to be transported to far off regions. That is why we often find the sugar mills 
to be situated amidst the sugarcane industry. All industries require labor and they can be skilled and unskilled. Unskilled labor is usually cheap and easily available in densely populated areas. Agro-based industries such as textile and sugar industries are labor intensive. That is, they require a large number of unskilled labor. Whereas certain industries require skilled labor such as engineers, managers, technicians. So here we can see how this particular industry is employing a large number of skilled people. Why? Here we can see an agro-based or agricultural practice leads to the employing of unskilled laborers. Availability of an efficient transport system play a very important role in determining the location of the industry. Well-developed roads, railways, nearness to ports, even airways help in faster and efficient production as well as reaching out to larger number of people. Therefore, we find that the transport availability play a very important role in determining the location of an industry. Industries preferably located close to markets help in cutting down the transportation cost. And if the commodities include perishable commodities, if the goods include perishable commodities, then nearness to markets become very essential. For example, dairy products are perishable goods and they have to be located very close to the markets. Capital, that means funds or money to start an industry, is very, very essential. And availability of sufficient amount of capital investment at a particular place determines the setting of an industry. Individuals, that is people who give loans to entrepreneurs, government agencies, banks are very, very important to start an industry. Hence, places with prospects of capital investment enhance the growth of industries. Most of the industries require large areas to set up their industrial units. They preferably establish in areas which are plains, not flood prone and not very high up on the mountains. Therefore, it is very important to locate an industry in an area which is plain ground so that it can help in not only reaching out to the people, but the labor who will work in these industries can also come to the industry, industrial location very easily. So land is also a very important factor for setting up of an industry. Now, industrial units require economical, uninterrupted power supply 
and therefore most of the industries prefer to be located in areas where the sources of power supply is abundant. Here we can see that wherever the power supply is available, many industries set up over there. Industries require a large amount of water for several purposes like cooling, washing, etc. Industries such, an, such as iron and steel industry, paper and textile industry have huge demands of water. A nuclear power station also requires huge amount of water for using it as a coolant. Therefore, it is very important for such industries to be located where there is nearness to a water supply. Therefore, such industries like to be located near rivers or lakes where there will be an uninterrupted flow of water. Industries are set up in places where the climate is moderate. The cotton textile mill in Mumbai has been set up due to the mild climate. The tea plant is situated where the tea gardens are and they are normally in a mountainous region. We also find that it is better to Locate an industry where the temperatures are moderate so that people can work comfortably over there. In very cold places or in very hot places, it is very difficult to work and most people who want to set up their industries abstain from setting industries in areas where the climate is in extremes. Lastly, government policies play a very important role in setting up of industries. The development of industries depend on government policies, provision of financial aids, subsidies from the government and support. All Support from all these sectors help in establishment of the industry. Our Honorable Prime Minister have stressed on Make in India and emphasized greatly on Digital India. Local to vocal are also a very promising way of making our industries full-fledged and help in providing ground for establishing more and more industries. So today we have learnt that just by being users our country cannot prosper. For a booming economy we have to turn to become vibrating entrepreneurs or producers. That is what we have enough time for today. 